Pressure's on outside Brisbane, where a big recovery operation has closed the road. Army. The old ute doesn't want to budge. Yeah, keep pulling it. But there's no turning back now. OK, here we go. The gun has snagged a little bit, but we're right. We're not doing no damage. At last, with a combo of radios and remote, the ute pops free. Just go slow. I just want to make sure this rock falls out from under it. They're nearly through the rocks, but it's about to get a whole lot steeper. Now, this is where it's going to get tricky. It's about to get hung up on a stump. Good. Just go about another half a metre, Glenn, and then you should be able to stop it. Yeah, there. From the road. Yep. Whatever you do, don't stand in front of it. This thing will come down the mountain like an avalanche. Yeah, pull this pulley off and uh, just let it go back. All right, mate. I'll grab that strap after. The pulley's going to come down to the vehicle. Ugh. You want to get this done. With the pulley block off, the boom can lift the rear end of the ute above most of the rough stuff. For the heavy tow truck, the last 50 metres are a breeze. It's all looking good. It's been a wild ride. You can just imagine these people coming down off the road, flying through here and pulling up. Just, I mean, it's a good fishing spot, but it's not that good. And just when it looks like they've got the job taped, the old ute has one little trick up her sleeve. Can we come up here? Oh, there goes the cameraman. Yeah, that's exactly why you don't stand behind it, eh? Did you see that? Keep your wits about you here, because he's about to pull forward. So if something happens now, you know which way it's going to go. Be like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. I'll be diving out the way, so... That's the last wreck recovered. A yeah, single vehicle accident's truck. causing traffic chaos on the Bruce Highway. So Mike's under pressure to get the car out of here. We've got to get the vehicle back onto its wheels pretty quickly, and uh, we'll be smart about it. So yeah, we've got to get a... We'll put a chain on here first. So when we roll it over, we'd have to crawl back underneath the car. So we'll um, get one chain ready to winch it on. Baby, if you can this highway, the biggest chain. thing we have is just to keep the traffic flowing. So there's a few little tricks you can do to um, do that, and we'll use anything we can in our um, bag of tricks to get the vehicle over. It'd be easy to park the tow truck across both lanes and do a straight pull. But I'm going to just leave the truck where it is and do a reverse roll, and that'll keep the traffic flowing through. So you want to, you want to drop this one right at the back or to the side? Yeah, right at the back there. Clayton's toe in baby has turned up to give Mike a hand. OK, good. He's locked in a pulley wheel on the track so they can winch the car over without moving the truck. Perfect. All right, we're all forward. Yeah, it's going to move the fire Mike's truck. really keen to keep one lane of the highway open, so the boys do a round-the-corner toe to get the smashed-up car onto the track. Handbrake on in the car. The front of the car is a mess. It took the full force of the impact when the car hit the concrete culvert. Handbrake on. OK, you can help out the road now. Of course, I had to um, cut the lady out. That cut the roof off. Now it's time to bring this bad boy to its feet. And this means Dave has to rig the trailer on its two highest points that are just a few metres from the power lines. Safety first, eh? <laughs> All right, if we put that about there, then that'll just be a little chock for us. In case it does roll. Oh, right, man. Just All right. Right. Back, front. All right, walk it over slowly, Benny. Front one, make sure you got tension on it all the time. Just bring it over slow. We don't want it bouncing. All right, you're nearly there. Go easy, go easy. Should come over soft. Good boy. Woo! Job well done, brother. Job well done. Sweet as. With the right gear, anything can be achieved. They're ready to roll, and so is this mob. Right, whenever you're ready. Good. And there's Ben's out down there in front of you, Ben. Now, for the big one. Everyone out the way. All clear. Although the truck's already been badly knocked around, they've got to avoid doing any further damage. So it's vital they let her down as carefully as possible. All right, bring her over. I had the tilt tray. Graham's truck on the other side and we hooked his truck onto the trailer so when we stood it up it wouldn't come down hard onto the road. Speaking going. It's crucial that everyone is operating in sync so it doesn't twist or crash down on landing. 
Grimes, I'll let Grimes let him. Yeah, Grimes got there. Hold it, Grimes, hold it. It's a feather bed landing, and that posi track driver was watching very closely. Perfect, the sandbag, eh? Huh? Well, it could have been this way before. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The team is about to run out of daylight, but here comes the Ute's owner, desperate to find out if his wife's precious ring is still in the car. And he's got just the machine to help out. The farmer's got to get his 200 horsepower tractor and, and uh, we're gonna use it as an air air as well. So, yeah, like everything, you know, we've got to improvise with whatever we've got around us, and, but we'll get there when, we haven't left anything behind yet, so we're not gonna be the first this time. You want to do this bit? Uh, I'm going to go down and watch. Righto. Watch down. And we use the tractor with a pulley block, Straight, which you? shares the load between, say, an eight-ton tractor, I reckon it would have been, and our six-ton truck. Yeah, we've got a tray out of the water, and it's rolling over the top of a stump. Mate, what a feeling that was to see the tailgate come out of the water. Now, that window's broken. Is it? Yeah. So is the windscreen. Yeah, right. That's those logs and the flood coming down and buddy taking them down. Yeah, keep it going. She's going good here. Oh dear. We're off the log. The log was, un was under the boat as well. Nearly tipped me out. Let's hope the glove box haven't come open, eh? Fingers crossed. It's taken the towies over 10 hours, but at last the car is back on dry land. Mm. All that's left now is to find out if his wife's precious ring survived under all that water. See this box? He's gonna make my wife very, very happy. Uh -huh. Look at that, not even dirty. How good's that? Very lucky. <laughs>